so today I'm going to do my September birch box and I'm sorry that it is late um yeah what happened was I got my first birch box and it looks kind of like this um this is not supposed to be pink if you can see it, it's actually supposed to be white um this is what the little car that always comes with it is and my birch box had sea salt spray in it which we will get to and did spill out all over my birch box so they actually sent me another one they were really fast in responding I just emailed them and said it spilled and everything got wet so they sent me another one which is in this box um, some of them had similar things so I'm just gonna go through everything and yeah so I would give their customer service an A plus they don't know that I filmed these so it's not like they did it because I film videos they do it for anyone um, and yeah, if you don't know what Birchbox is, I can link a what is Birchbox down below. I did it, I think, like a year and a half ago. Um, but it kind of gives you an idea. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below as well. So I haven't really looked at it, either of them. Um, and it is all about heritage. So we'll start with what I got in my first Birchbox. And yeah, we'll just move on from there. The first thing is a face moisturizer and you just get two little things like this and it is the Molly Gortez that word right there vitamin E face moisturizer this is supposed to nourish all skin types and basically you just use it like a moisturizer so I'm really excited to try these um, it looks like it has a good amount in both of them and so yeah the next thing is a sea salt spray which we will get to because they actually sent me another one um, so we'll get to this in a second the next thing is Dr. Lips original nipple balm for lips so basically it is used to be for nursing moms so you put on your nipple when it's dry but um, they made a new formula on this one specifically for lips I haven't tried it um, if you can see, it's still on there. I, have, I haven't even really looked at it. But yeah, so I'm excited to try that because especially right now, my lips are getting really dry and I'm not sure why. So this hopefully, hopefully will help that. Next thing is the Molly Beauty Volumizing Mascara. So it just looks like this. Again, it's not supposed to be pink. But yeah, this is what the wand looks like looks like this it's supposed to be volumizing that's what the wand looks like so it's really clean packaging I like that um, the full size is $20 and the last thing I got in here is the ruffian nail lacquer and this is in hedge fund I believe yes so it's just this really pretty like emerald green fall color um, just has a thicker brush which I like um, and yeah so I'm excited to try this and so yeah that the full size of these are ten dollars by the way um, so that was all my first box it's all gone and we'll dive into the second box there are a few similarities but there are some very different the first thing I got another sea salt spray so I have two of them um, this one dumped all out in my bag and this one actually leaked a little bit too as you can see it's just a little bit of pink but nothing else was ruined so I mean there's um, not a lot that not a lot fell out and so yeah it didn't fit very well in the box so you can review it at the end of the month so I'll probably add that into like some extra comments that it didn't fit and it ended up like pushing it and then putting pressure on it stuff like that but this is the Davines um, sea salt spray and this is supposed to give your give your hair some beachy texture and volume without any stickiness and you're supposed to wet spray on wet hair to boost volume before styling or dry hair to mattify and add lift so I haven't tried this um, but it smells really good because it's on everything but yeah so I really like so I'm really excited to try this. Um, I have another sea salt spray that from that, or not your mother's, which doesn't tend to work with my hair because my hair is so stringy and fine. But 
we will try this out. The next thing is the Grant by Grand Central Beauty, and it is the SMART Skin Perfecting Polisher. Just looks like this. Um, it says this multitasker made with natural botanicals exfoliates, tones, smooths, and moisturizes. So you just after you wash your face, you put this on and does its thing. So yeah. The next thing is the thing I can't say. <laughs> The, I'll have you guys read it. It's this one right here. Le Covenant Dis Mimis Gardener's Hand Healer. So it just looks like that. Uh, that's what it's called. And then the actual little sample looks like this. And it's a cream that heals and softens with shea butter and seven powerhouse botanicals. And then you just use it like you'd use a lotion. The next thing is I got another nail polish by the same company. You can see they look just like that. This one is a bright reddish orange color. It's showing up pretty true to color actually. And this is in the color Fox Hunt. So it's really pretty. They're both very nice fall colors. The last thing I got was a cream blush from Glam Natural. And I haven't opened it so I'm not sure what it looks like. But these I think are the colors. So I don't know how true to color these are but... There's like a really light pink one, a darker pink one, and then like a burgundy red blush. So those are cream blushes, so that'll be fun to try. And they are by Glam Natural. So that was what was in my birch box. I hope you enjoyed. I will be doing a review over all of these products um, towards the end of October probably because I just opened these today, the day you're seeing this, or the day I'm uploading this, which is Tuesday the 24th. So yes, um, I have not had a chance to look at it. So I'm excited to try these. I'll probably um, paint my nails with these tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to do both or do like an accent nail or something like that. But yeah, so that is my September brush box. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Or if there's anything specific that you think I should know about these products or that you have questions about, Again, just leave them below and I will get back to you. And yeah, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like this video. And yeah, bye!